Well, we are in the heart of county fair season across Minnesota. And as our Josh Peterson shows us, one fair has a deep tradition that goes back 111 years. The midway, the food, and of course, the animals are all trademarks of a county fair. For the Clearwater County Fair, they have a 111 year tradition in Bagley that they managed to keep fresh after all these years. You know, we try to bring new ideas into the grandstand. You know, you don't want to keep coming back to the same grandstand show, except for demolition derby. <laughs> One of the key components of any fair is the 4-H program. Just about everywhere you look at the fairgrounds, you will find a 4-H member showcasing projects ranging from livestock to the fine arts. One of my favorite parts about 4-H is that the program offers something for everyone's skill and ability and, so, and everyone's gifting. Here at the Clearwater County Fair, locals often boast that their county fair is one of the best in the state, and they all have their reasons why. Down home, just regular people here and a and, uh, wonderful place to be and friendly atmosphere and uh, a lot of neat exhibits, so we enjoy it. I just kind of enjoy the small town community of it because with like the big city, you have hustle bustle, everything's changing, always moving, but nice part about small towns is that they stay more or less pretty much the same. The Clearwater County Fair succeeds each year by continuing with the classic county fair traditions with a mix of new thrills and spills. We have a family um, fair, it seems to me, and you get to see a lot of people that um, have lived in the, in the county over the years and it's kind of a big draw for everybody to get together. With the weekend approaching, fair organizers are preparing for a weekend of excitement and celebration. In Bagley, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. The Clearwater County Fair runs each day through Sunday, August 6th. For a link to the complete fair schedule, you can visit our website at lptv.org news. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.